Are new construction builders being honest with you? Do not buy a home new construction in Florida without watching this first. The first area that they're gonna set you up with is hidden costs you know you walk into the new construction and you look at basically the base price model for the home but a lot of times they're going to charge you for lot upgrades upgrade packages um closing costs and a whole bunch of other fees and whatever you do do not put a pool in while you're building your home it's way too expensive this way those model homes are set up on purpose to show you what it can be, but what it can be is 50, 100, or $150,000 more than it really says when you're walking through the front door. So be careful there. Number two, construction delays. This is something that happens and every builder has a clause in there where it's okay for them to be delayed, but not for you. Mm -hmm. So it's a really good idea to know what's going on in the local economy. Are, are they finishing their homes on time? And this is a question you should be asking the salesperson or better yet, have your representative ask for you because you want to know. Like for example, right now there's a shortage of windows. Yep. So you're going to have to wait, you know, six, you know, sometimes uh, three months in order to get those windows. So you really should have a contingency plan in place as well and try to pin the builder down. They're not going to like it, but try to pin the builder down to, okay, so what are you going to do for me if you're not going to be able to, you know, get me in my home by, you know, Christmas of 2025. Right. Number three is quality of workmanship when they turn the house to you. Yeah, a lot of times you'll walk through prior and they'll put like the blue tape on the things that they need to fix, like, you know, the trim work or some paint. But we always suggest having an inspection done within that time frame period so you can know what's going on with the roof and if they've done everything correctly. Let's let's talk about that because it's just so important for them. You need to order an inspection even on a new construction because your inspector is going to look at things that you can't see like insulation. Is it covered throughout the entire vaulted Are ceiling? Are the ducts done correctly? Exactly. Little things like that that we're not necessarily trained for and you sure aren't as well. An inspector in there, it costs you a couple hundred dollars. It's worth it and it gives us a better punch list for our client or for our builders mm -hmm. so they know what they need to be working on right before closing and a little bit after closing too. The builders have about 30 days to finish anything that's on that punch list. So that's pretty much the norm. After after the closing, the 30 days after closing, they can go back in and do the work. Let them do it because it's never going to be perfect. But we want to make sure that we have a great list. Number four is homeowners association fees. So when they build out a community, they set up a homeowners association. That means it protects the integrity of the community. Your neighbor can't paint their house fuchsia, but it also gives some constraints on what you can do as well. Here's the thing. The builders own the homeowners association until the community's finished and then the price goes up and then it goes to a management firm and you have to pay a little bit more. It's important to know what's going to happen after they turn the property over. And it's really, you know, it's anyone's really guessing game. I mean, they'll give yep. you a range, but just kind of plan for it when you're looking at your expenses and your affordability. Just kind of say if they're saying right now it's $20 for the HOA, you can likely expect that to go up. Now, because we know or we don't know for sure what the homeowners association is going to be, that one's a little bit of a variable. The next topic, we absolutely need to know ahead of time and they have to disclose it. And that is a CDD. Or CDCCC. I can't do the alphabet thing. but It's this CDD, is, Community this, Development Disclosure. And this is a really, really big deal. Now, this is usually, it's a loan that's given out and all the homeowners are responsible for paying it back. Let's say it has a 20-year note on it. Okay. Now that builds the infrastructure and everything else and every homeowner is responsible for, for paying, paying that. that back over the course of 20 years. It's added into your property taxes. Exactly. And here's the scary part. When you sell your home, if your contract is not written perfectly, you'll be responsible for paying the balance that's still left as opposed to transferring that to the buyer who would buy. Now, normally that would freak people out because it's like, well, if I've got to pay that off, I can't sell my home. That's not true because every home is going to be under that same circumstance. Correct. You just want to be cautious on it. CDDs can add a lot of money to your expenses. You usually get great communities with them mm -hmm. though, right? Absolutely. And here's another important thing to note is sometimes those CDDs are in perpetuity. You don't, you just don't pay them off. Like Lake Nona has some areas where that CDD is just on going forever. So it's basically, and it's like a common fee that mm -hmm. we have to pay. Be very careful of those because they do add up. And there's a lot of buyers who are not interested in getting involved. Looking at your contract, don't be dazzled by the beauty of the home, but look at what's the cost going forward. It's so important at this juncture. And finally, property taxes. I know, and this is like anyone's guess because the final numbers really won't know until that community is fully developed and that could take a long time. 
Well, and how they determine it right off the bat, the property taxes you're shown initially are for land value only. Once we put your home on top of it- It's the about value, the dirt, we call it the dirt. The dirt price, right? <laughs> Once you put the home on top of it, it becomes a lot more expensive. Now, here's the weird part. We're gonna guess at that because we really don't know. Of course, billage rate, everything else comes into play and your lender can really work it out pretty well for you. Don't be fooled by property tax of only $1,000 a year. That ain't the case. It's gonna go up. And usually the underwriters, they'll estimate between one and a half to 2% of the purchase price. So that's kind of a, a guide for you to know going in, you know, that's what you can expect to pay for your property taxes. Now remember this, when you're buying a home, if you're buying new construction, there's a lot of options out there. Orlando is a very much a growing environment. It's very, very good business practice for you to have somebody there representing you to ask these questions to be involved. We'd love that to be us, but the bottom line is get somebody to help you. It doesn't cost you a penny and it's gonna save you some money and probably some heartache down the road. And we definitely don't want that to happen. All right, we hope you enjoyed this video for today. We'll see you next time. Bye.